So as we just discussed previously that uh, there are certain techniques which, which can be called uh, classified as representation learning. They are normally uh, statistical techniques and uh, they are used to understand the data or patterns within the data. For example, when you are represented with the mean or standard deviation or covariance in the data. So it is representing a certain uh, aspect of the data and what is uh, what is a general trend in the data so statistical measures are very powerful tools uh, in uh, in terms of uh, understanding the data um, the most simplest of the uh, statistical tool or measure is counting the simplest of the statistical uh, measure is counting so counting is uh, one of the basic one uh, when you construct an array or you just uh, get the length of the array uh, or the length of the strings or uh, number of observations, number of features. So these are all countings. So um, it, 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 it gives you very uh, useful information about the data itself and counting, just remember counting is the basics, uh, is, a, is the very basic of uh, many uh, other statistical measures as well. For example, when you are uh, calculating the mean, so you cannot calculate mean without counting as well. You first have to count the total number of observations. So, so that means the counting is a very powerful and ha helpful uh, um, statistical uh, measure. Um, it has many applications in, uh, in uh, pattern detection, resource allocation, and data management. Um, in resource allocation, like we we normally say, okay, how many uh, bits or bytes or gigabytes a certain data takes, how many mem uh, how much of the memory usage, how much MBs of a memory usage it is a uh, certain process is consuming, or how much of the data uh, is being transferred through uh, uh, through your network or through your router. So these are all countings. So. Some of, the, some of the general questions which are listed uh, outlined here uh, are how many observations are there, how many features are there, how many classes are there. This, the, uh, so this is, this is a very um, uh, basic example when you are, uh, counting is basically used to understand that data. If you look at the questions here, they are just uh, mainly focusing on uh, uh, understanding the data, how many features are there, what is, how many observations are there and similarly uh, as we discussed previously data can be imbalanced as well. If a data has a certain, if your data set has a certain classes uh, in it, so that means that we can, uh, we can understand by counting that okay how many observations are of uh, belonging to class 1 and how many observations are belonging to class 2, that means whether it is a balanced data or imbalanced data. And um, so these are uh, certainly helpful in a classification problem. So below the example, uh, I will leave it to you for the understanding. Second important uh, and most common, uh, one of the most common measure is mean and variance. So mean, um, uh, as you know that it is also called as average uh, and it is very commonly used in measure. Uh, you can use any uh, you can do it uh, by hand as well and uh, if you if the number of observations are less and in Excel uh, there are built-in functions in SQL you have built-in functions for mean so majority of the tools have mean and variance functions uh, built in um, so uh, what kind of questions you can ask by using the uh, you can uh, ask or you can answer uh, by using this measure so for example, what are the differences in feature characteristics? So as you might have seen in the pandas as you going, uh, going through the, the practical portion that you can um, take them, you can uh, use the pan, um, describe function in pandas which gives you mean. So actually that tells you actually the differences in feature characteristics. If you are applying that function, uh, that uh, if you have multiple um, numeric values uh, or continuous variables in your data that gives you the overview of okay, how the different features are uh, different um, in terms of uh, characteristics. So, and especially uh, you can also see that uh, if there are if there are classes um, uh, in your data set, how different classes are different from each other. 
you can categorize you can take the mean of each class and uh, see okay uh, how each class is different for different features of the data set uh, so uh, uh, are there any subgroups of features or is there any subspace available are there any similarities between the subgroups so these are some uh, differences between so mean and variance and variance by the way is calculated on the base of on the basis of mean so uh, first you can you have to calculate mean then and you calculate variance variance is actually how uh, when you have for example uh, if you have a mean of 5 in a data in a particular data set if you have a mean of 5 so variance is like uh, how far the data points can go from 5 on both sides uh, how uh, it is uh, normally written as plus minus so how far they can uh, plus minus 2 or plus minus 3 or whatever so this is the variance how how much that of your data vary uh, um, between your um, you can say mean so this is a mean and variance should we stop here <laughs>